This is Morning Prayers at St. Peter's, Ipswich, brought to you online, a place where we study God's Word together and where we join our hearts and our voices before the throne of God, praying for the needs of our world, our church and ourselves. Welcome this morning. Good morning. And welcome to morning prayers this morning from St. Peter's Ipsley, this Thursday morning. My name is Peter McLaren, and I'm a licensed lay minister or reader in this parish. From morning prayer in the prayer book on morning prayer for Thursday. O oh Lord, Open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Now the order for morning prayer suggests that we should begin with a psalm of praise at the start of this new day. And we're going to use the suggested psalm, Psalm 67. God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Now, Hebrew poetry is sometimes of an unusual form, as we think about it. And this psalm has got a particular order for, for it. The poetic form. It's of the form A, B, C, B, A. Let me explain. A. At the start is a twofold request, verses one and two. And at the end, the A is the answer, again twofold, in verses six and seven. Then there's a twofold request, a sort of chorus, identically worded in verses three and five. And at the centre of the psalm, verse 4, is the worldwide praise that God's mercy to his people will awaken. So let me read the psalm again, but put the verses in different order. First the request 1 and 2. And then God's gracious answer, six and seven. God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. See the request of the psalmist. Let the people praise God. And also, notice that his salvation is among all nations to all people. And God's, and in verse six, seven, verses 6 and 7, is God's gracious answer. Yes, there is a blessing on us, an agricultural blessing. 
but that will extend to the ends of the earth. And that balances the thought for all nations. Now hear the repeated request for praise. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Yes, verse 5 says, Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Yes, the request of the psalmist. Let the peoples praise God. And then it's intensified. Let all the peoples praise God. People of every language and culture. Now let's hear again the core of this psalm. Verse 4. Oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. A request that all nations rejoice because of two things. God's just will and God's guidance. A great psalm. I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> but of course, we should then offer our praise to God this morning. And I'm going to use one of the first prayers that has come down to us written in English, in Old English, from Kiderman, who died about 700 A.D. But since my knowledge of Old English is probably no better than yours, I'm using modernised language. Kaiderman's Prayer of Praise Now we must praise the ruler of heaven, the might of the Lord and his purpose of mind, the work of the glorious Father, for he... God eternal established each wonder. He, holy creator, first fashioned the heavens as a roof for the children of earth. And then our guardian, the everlasting Lord, adorned this middle earth for men. Praise the almighty King of heaven. And we would praise God this morning. Amen. Now our main reading is going to be a bit different this morning. We're going to be using the alternative reading for the day, which is from Jeremiah 31 verses 1 to 9. Now, Jeremiah has a reputation of being a gloomy prophet. I hope you'll feel that that reputation is not totally deserved. As we hear Jeremiah 31, verses 1 to 9. And Jeremiah is speaking prophetically about a time in the future. After the people have been taken into exile in Babylon, and then under the Persian king, King Cyrus, have been allowed to return to their native land. And I'm also going to do something a bit different. After each verse or so, I'm going to stop and turn the thoughts that we have read into prayers as we read these verses. Jeremiah 31, verse 1. At that time, declares the Lord, I will be the God of all the clans of Israel, and they will be my people. 
a prayer. Lord, we believe that you can be the God of all the clans of my family. Even those parts of the clan who have never as yet acknowledged you. And those parts who are drifting from you. Lord, be their God today. Amen. Now verses 2, 3 and the first half of verse 4. This is what the Lord says. The people who survived the sword will find favour in the desert. I will come to give rest to Israel. The Lord appeared to us in the past saying, I, the, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. I will build you up again and you will be rebuilt. O Virgin Israel, a prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your everlasting love, that it was from ancient time to an unending future, and that you've drawn us to yourself, even though at times you've had to drag us along. Thank you, Lord. Verse 4b. Again, you will take up your tambourines and go out to dance with the joyful. A prayer. Thank you, Lord, that our acknowledgement of you can lead to music and dance. And may we, at this time of Advent approaches, Sing great Advent songs to your praise, songs of the coming of your redeeming Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 5. Again, you will plot vineyards on the hills of Samaria, and farmers will plant them and enjoy their fruit. A prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the harvest of this land that has been gathered in. And may we share the good things you have given us with those we have, those who have less than us, we pray. And in this era, we particularly remember the Redditch Food Bank and Reverend Ian and his team who are working there to make others enjoy the fruit of the land. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 6, there will be a day when watchmen cry out on the hills of Ephraim, come, let us go up to Zion, to the Lord our God. Yes, Lord, may there shortly be a time when many in Redditch will cry, let us go to the hill of the Lord our God. And we pray that St. Stephen's Church may not even be big enough to contain that congregation in Jesus' name. Amen. Verses 7 and the start of verse 8. This is what the Lord says. Sing with joy for Jacob. Shout for the foremost of the nations. Make your praises heard and say, O Lord, save your people, the remnant of Israel. See, I will bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the ends of the earth. O Lord, 
save your scattered people. Those who were scattered to the ends of the earth and those especially who were in prison for their faith. And may they be able to join with us and all your people in praising you. Amen. Verse 8b. Among them will be the blind and the lame, expectant mothers and women in labour. A great throng will return. Lord, we commend to you those in our parish who have some disabilities, those who we know are losing their sight. Lord, bless Mrs. P and Mrs. S, we pray. We also know of many who've had hip replacements and other surgery who cannot fall, walk as far as they used to and as far as they would like to. And those, too, who have to use a stick nowadays. Lord, bring them all into your great eternal kingdom. And we remember any who we know who are, with, who are with child at this time. And we commend to you all patients and staff in the labour ward of the Royal Worcester at this time. And especially any who we know who are midwives working with these people. Lord, bless them in Jesus' name. And verse 9. They will come with weeping. They will pray as I bring them back. I will lead them beside streams of water on a level path where they will not stumble because I am Israel's father and Ephraim is my firstborn son. Lord, may we all return to you with tears of joy as you bring us back to yourself and lead us in the green pastures and still waters that Davis the psalmist spoke that David the psalmist spoke of, knowing that you are our Father. And we are your children. And we ask all these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. So we come to join together in the family prayer. Let us say together, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And we say together, this, we say the special prayer or collect for this Sunday. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
now and forever. Amen. And let's end our prayers this morning with a special prayer from the old prayer book, The Morning Collect. Almighty and most merciful Father, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so may the blessing of God, our God the Father, our Creator, God the Son, our Redeemer, and God the Holy Spirit, who intercedes with us before the throne of the Father, may that blessing of the triune God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and those who you love this day and evermore. Goodbye.